Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with a video. It's been a little while. And one thing that I do regret in this channel is that many times I make videos that are opinion based, which I really enjoy making, but sometimes it has detached me from the, the act of taking pictures. So in this video, we're gonna go and do a bit of a photo walk. I recently, maybe like a year ago, uh, changed my RZ kit for an RB kit. And I made a video that it would be my portrait kit because I like to think of cameras for specific uses. And uh, I know it's very much, you know, first world problems, but I like thinking of my Mamiya RB as a portrait camera. I don't want to really take it outside. I want to shoot studio pictures and portraits of my family and loved ones and maybe throw it in the car every now and then and shoot some portraits at a party or something like that. But I don't want to photo walk around with a Mamiya RB 67. Uh, the Beast is back there, as you can see, and it's a hefty camera, just as the RB and the RZ uh, are heavy cameras that were meant for studio use mainly. And I did sell my uh, Mamiya 7, and I've been kind of missing going out and shooting some 6x7. So I decided to throw uh, my video camera that lives in the studio into a backpack and go outside and shoot some pictures. The thing with Finland and one of the things I've noticed throughout the years I've been living here is that the light in Finland is actually really, really nice. There's a couple things that really work. First, there's a golden hour for hours because of the sun doesn't really set all the way in the summer. And in the winter, for the little bit of time you get uh, golden light, it's kind of in the winter and it's always golden. It might be very short term, but it does last quite a bit because it kind of like only comes up a little bit and comes back down. So I decided to take this Mamiya RB. I took, I think some Portra 400. I exposed it at 200 and started shooting. One thing that I have to say is I don't really know how to use the Mamiya RB67. Having been a Mamiya RZ67 user for years and making videos on how to use it, multiple exposures, how to change the rotation, I know everything almost there is to know in that camera except for repairing it that I leave to the masters, uh, is something that surprised me when I picked up the RB. Uh, it took me 10 minutes to learn how to load it. It took me like, uh, I had a jam at the outside, which didn't understand what it was, but it was like a pin that wasn't going in all the way. I had a hard time like almost doing anything with the camera, even though in operation, it's very much the same. And it's a Mamiya RB Pro SD, uh, which is the closest you can get to the RZ. And I shot with the Pro uh, Back 2, a Pro SD Back, and the lens is a KL lens that's very much the same shape and function as the RZ lenses.
One thing I noticed is the double stroke doesn't really bother me if I'm shooting in that scenario. Uh, I guess if you're shooting portraits in a studio, it's more annoying to advance and advance and advance and advance because it's double stroke. Uh, the back basically is disconnected from the front, but this didn't seem to be a big issue. Another thing I did notice out and about is I only own one lens for the Mamiya RB, and that is a 127 millimeter 3.5. This is made to be the closest I could find to the 110 from the RZ and 3.5 to 2.8 honestly doesn't bother me. I never shoot wide open, uh, but I found it kind of long for shooting what I was shooting, which was kind of like architecture, neighborhood photography. Uh, I missed having a little wider, but I decided I didn't want to have a camera for wide that I didn't want to have a lens for wide. So I've decided to here at work, pick up a super long lens and uh, get it CLA'd and take it out. So that will be another video I'll do. But yeah, and honestly, this was more taking the RZ out, getting myself out of the house, out of the studio, uh, shooting some pictures outside and enjoying. The results obviously are okay. They're nothing to, you know, say it's amazing photography. It was more like me going out, having fun with a friend, taking some pictures. And the idea is to share them with you. I honestly think that many times as a camera collector, I won't say I'm a camera collector, but I end up collecting cameras. Uh, you kind of focus too much sometimes on the gear you own and the gear you want and the gear you don't have and what you want to buy and not in going out and taking images. So in this case, uh, this is basically what it is, is going out, shooting the RB, getting to know it, and then sending it to a lab. I did send it to a lab this time. Uh, Carmencita did it, Carmencita Film, a lab in Spain. They scanned it, they printed it, and you'll notice that some pictures, even though they're exactly almost the same moment, have different hues. And that's one thing I noticed with labs is they care for your film, obviously, but they don't put the care you would maybe put onto the film. And I order prints, which I love having my little prints that I can put in the fridge or send to family or give to friends uh, because they do this service for a couple of euros more. And it's honestly, why would, who doesn't want to have a proof print of a color shot? And they're not obviously chemically made, they're optically printed or whatever ink. Um, and I think they're worth the value for that. So yeah, I would love to see what you guys think of me going out and shooting a little more. I have obviously access to a lot of stuff here at work, but also a lot of my own stuff. But the idea is just to go out and start taking more images and maybe talking about them. Obviously, like I said, these are nothing special. I can't really critique much more than maybe my metering, but I would have to scan myself to see if I did screw up the metering that bad. But I basically meter the shadows at one stop overexposure uh, film. So I Portra 400 at 200 metering for the shadow. So highlights could be blown off by a lot and maybe that's why some shots look a little blown off. 
But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking to the channel, watching stuff like this. I will be posting more and more, uh, but I don't know if I'll be posting a ton. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.